saw you looking my way I start to contemplate moments that went to waste I Why you do that? You drop me like who that? And put me through that? My baby is useless, I'm living my life Don't need you in mind, me feeling just fine One of a kind, who better than I? Hey, 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 oh. Shawty don't play that game, Shawty don't play that game I won't keep you safe, time that I'll be I got a lot to do, I got a lot to do At the crack of dawn, in the dark of night, what I got to do, got to do. I'ma make it loud, how I made you scream like a cockatoo Squirrel. Turn the pussy wet, by the shoulder rest, what the cock do What you expect, how I forget these thoughts of you Don't need no reps, I'm in the jet, gon' fly the coop, fly the coop Shawty, don't play that game, Shawty, don't play that game I won't keep you safe Time that I'll be okay oh. Don't play that game Shawty, don't play that game I won't keep you safe Time that I'll be okay I Don't play that game Shawty, don't play that game I know my place Shawty, I know my channel so guys as you saw in the previous clip I did the um this Aztec secret clay mask and I actually saw this um on Raven Elise channel when she did her um uh, quarantine uh glow up routine or something like that and I've actually seen the clay a few other times but I never really thought to try it so I said I'm ordered off Amazon and I tried it and I ordered these uh, little spatulas as well. And I put it on my face, let it sit on there for like 20 minutes. And I took a hot bath, a hot bubble bath. And I used the, um, let me show y'all what I used. I used the Dr. Teal's foaming bath with pure Epsom salt soothe and sleeve. So sleeve soothe and sleep I use this along with the actual Epsom salt as well you guys when I let that thing sit on my face and I took me a hot bubble bath I was out for the count I did not turn the camera back on anymore last night so I am actually off today and I am ready for a change of scenery you guys I'm ready for a change of scenery um, but as far as the, the the mask, it says I'm supposed to do it one time per week, once per week. So I've had a few hormonal breakouts and it's like every month Satan will come to town and it just really makes me sick. So I don't really have like a lot of problematic skin, but I do like have areas as to where I want it to kind of even and soothe out my skin. Um, and just, you know get the blemishes and like the di the different dark acne spots i want to kind of clear those up so of course it's not going to like give i'm not going to see results like the next day or like right away but i figure if i continue to use the clay mask once a week i figured i would see results but anyway like i was just saying i'm ready for a change of scenery you guys Y'all, my nails look a hot mess i just painted my nails like the day before yesterday and they're already chipping like this and i'm gonna have to go ahead and take this nail polish off because i can't be walking around looking like this this is this is ghetto i don't do ghetto i don't do too much ghetto i mean this ghetto enough as it is with my blue hair okay <laughs> this is ghetto enough for me um so yeah i did get my hair braided last weekend and i'm like because i'm not in the office and I don't have to like be around any of my coworkers or whatever. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to step out the box a little bit and get in my creative flow of juices. And I just went outside and I went and got me some blue, y'all. So this is probably the most ghetto 
is ghettoest blue or bluest color you'll probably ever see me have. Now I've done purple before, but it was more of a soft, subtle, a softer, darker purple, so you really couldn't tell. But um, yeah, I guess some kind of bougie, classic, ratchet, ratchet, savage type girl. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, so I got my hair blue and I got to go get this ghetto nail polish off. But anyway. I'm sitting here rambling, but y'all, I'm really ready for a change of scenery. I don't think my state has lifted up all the way open as far as like the different phases of the different stores and stuff like that. So I'm just going to get in my car. I'm just going to ride and see what they have out there. See what's open. If it looks pretty packed, I'm not going to go. If I feel safe and it doesn't look as packed, I might get out and go in the store and see what they got because I heard there's a lot of sales going on now that stores are getting ready to slowly but surely opening up and I'm just going to change the scenery I mean I'm off today and I'm going to bring you guys along with me so I'm going to go ahead and get myself together I'm going to put on some clothes because I'm looking like a queen Sheba right now with my dashiki on I guess it's called a dashiki I don't know but anyway I will see you guys later Okay, guys, I am ready to rock and roll. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm not going to put on any lip gloss. I did put on a little few, um, some cocoa butter just to get my lips a little moisturized. But it's no need to because I'm about to put on my mask. I'm going to have to put on my mask. So... I will see y'all when I get in the car. All right, so it is a beautiful day. You guys, it is 72 degrees out and I am excited. I'm in a great, great mood. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. I feel good. Um. And I'm just excited about it. I'm off for the next four days. So, yeah, guys. Um, this weekend is packed with stuff as far as what we got planned. Um, and, yeah. Oh, and do you guys see my shirt? I'll show you guys a little bit later. Um, I purchased this shirt from the Unfrumpy Mommy. Um, she has her own she does t-shirts and I love watching her she is such her and her husband are such an inspiration to uh, me or whatever and I love watching her and I just love her personality and she came out with this shirt classy bougie ratchet and savage if you guys can see but she just started offering the big girls the plus size the plethora the plump girl section sizes and i was like okay tan finally coming through with the plus size shirts and sizes and stuff so when she announced that she was coming out with the plus size edition of her shirts i'm like I'm clicking, I'm clicking, and I'm ordering, okay, so I got my shirt, and I said today is a perfect day for me to put on my t-shirt, because I am classy, I am bougie, but I'm a little ratchet, because I love my colored hair, or whatever, you know, this is about as ratchet as I'm going to get, you know what I'm saying, the ends are really blue, and that's about it, so I think that's the most ratchet I can get, other than these chipped up nails that you guys see. But uh, we're going to take care of that real, real soon. Don't you worry yourself about my nails and my toes looking like they look. And my toes look like I got a French manicure. But in reality, they're just, uh, they're polished. They were, they were polished white, but they look so bad. It look like a French manicure. But we're not going to talk about that, okay? Because the girl is going to get all that together. Slowly but surely, your girl is going to get back on track. Anyways. But yes, yeah, so I am in these streets, these quarantine streets, y'all. It's Rony Rona, Rony Rone, uh, Miss Rona Veris, however y'all want to say it. I'm out here in these streets, y'all, playing it safe as, playing it, trying to play it safe as I can. Ha! 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 
All right, so I am pulling up to Home Goods and TJ Maxx, and there is no line waiting to get inside, which is a good thing, y'all. Which is a good thing. Is Bath and Body Works open? We are closed temporarily. Okay, so Bath and Body Works is still closed. Um, let's see, is Old Navy still open? Na Old Navy is open, but I don't really want anything out of there. So what I really want to go to is TJ Maxx and Home Goods, which is a combo store, and there is no line waiting to get in, which is a plus for me. I just need some retail therapy, y'all. Seriously. Like, I've done enough shopping online till it's ridiculous. I want to go in an actual store. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Got my mask. Okay. Got that one. Alright, she looking cute. Okay. Got my hand sanitizer, my keys. Hand sanitizer check. And I got my keys. Alright, y'all. So let's go in here and see what we can find in Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Oh, this isn't staying. Do I have it on right? Let's see, make sure I have it on right. I don't need any slip ups or mishaps while I'm in the store. All right, All right guys. Uh, so I'm walking into TJ Maxx and Home Goods right now. And as you guys can see, they already have X's down here. And they've got, they say they got some markdowns, so we'll see. We'll see what they have in here. Good morning. Hi. Thank you. All right, so that's a good thing they got the buggy sanitized. So let's see what we can find in here. Taking this mask off is like taking the bra off when you get home, honey. <sighs> Jesus. Make sure the sanitizer up real good. And I did have to pull my phone out a few times. So I got that. I got I ordered the sanitizer spray from Bath and Body Works. So I usually use this on my phone when I'm like out. And I'll use this with like a napkin or something just to clear off my phone. Especially like if I'm going into like an establishment and I have to pull my phone out. I'll use that spray and wipe it down real good. Um, just so, just in case if I might have picked something up, you know, with my hands. So when I get back in the car, I'll feel secure. So I did get a few things from uh, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. So now, um, I don't know where else I want to go. And I will show you guys everything I bought when I get home. I'm just trying to figure out where else I want to go. It is hot. Oh, God, it's hot. Um, I want to see. I wonder if Ross open. Ross and Burlington. All right, let me see if they open. I'll call you back. Y'all, so I'm at Burlington right now, and this is the line that it takes. Well, this is what the line is looking like right now to get into Burlington. It's not that bad. So hopefully, it won't be too long. Hopefully, it won't be too long having to wait in the line. It's not that bad. All right, y'all, so I'm not going to be able to talk long because they're playing music, but I'm standing in line right, standing in line right now. Hopefully, y'all can hear me okay, but I didn't do too much. I didn't do too much damage. Um, That's just what my cart looks like. 
Got a few items and some clothes down there and a bunch of other just random stuff. So I don't think I did too, too bad, but the line is like super, super long. But of course everybody is standing like six foot away from people. So it's not as bad as it looks, but look at the line y'all. Like the line is this way and then it's going all the way down. So, and then I've got people behind me as well. So, it's, I guess this is just the new way of shopping, I guess. All right, y'all. I am finally out of Burlington. Oh, my God. Standing in line was more tiresome than actually shopping. You got that something that can't be seen. You got that one thing that's hard to come by. It's not your styling, it's not your jeans. No, what you got is deeper within. And your friends don't even know what you got. They just hang with you because you earn a lot. You should lose them all and start hanging with me. Cause I'm the only one who can see. I don't need your dreamy eyes, your dreamy eyes, no. I don't need your pretty smile, your pretty smile, no. I just want your perfect mind, your perfect mind. Do y'all see the line? So I'm gonna show you the front door. That's the front door. Y'all see the front door, right? And look at the line. All the way back here. <laughs> All the way back here. That is just to get in. Just to get in. Okay. Just to get in Burlington. Oh my gosh. People say they need some retail therapy. I said, hell, I don't blame them. I probably wouldn't have stood in that long of a line, but the line that I did stand in, it was okay. So now I'm about to give me something to eat because I'm hungry. Shoot, that was, that deserved a meal. Thank you. You as well. Yeah, I'm at McDonald's, right? I have I just sprayed my sprayed my card down. So, y'all, I'm at McDonald's, and you know with the with the double lines or the double lanes at McDonald's, you got one car go, and then the next car and the second line go, and you know it's every other car going to the line. So this idiot in front of me gonna jump in in front of me trying to get to the car behind me. I'm like, well, sir, I don't understand what you want to rush for. I mean, what you want to rush for to go nowhere? And it's nothing open. Like, what are you getting a rush for? Are you that hungry? Oh, I just don't understand why people are such in a rush to go nowhere. What, you going to Lowe's or something? You, you still got to wait in line. Can I get a few napkins? <laughs> Thank you. See, if you be kind to people, people will be kind to you. It's, it's just that simple, y'all. It's just that simple. You don't pay to be rude to nobody, be mean to nobody. For what? I mean, for why? Y'all, I'm so thirsty and hungry. Hmm. That is not no Coke. That is a darn Dr. Pepper. But guess what? Your girl about to drink it. Uh -uh. Alright guys, so I am back home and 
I am tired. I am tired. I went to two Burlington's. I only showed you guys that I was in one Burlington, but I went to two Burlington's. I went to a TJ Maxx that's uh, merged with a Home Goods, and I went into Kirkland's. I didn't get anything from Kirkland's, but Burlington, I think I hit a jackpot. Burlington had everything half off of their clothing items and their shoe items. Um, and of course their house goods were 25% off. So I've already given my kids their clothing items already. Um, let me see your stuff right there, TJ. You already got your crop phone? You already got your crops on? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. If you already got them on. No. Oh. Okay. So I got the boys some uh, polo socks. These were half off, so I got each of them a pair of socks. I did get them a pair of gray Crocs. These were on sale, and as you see, my son has already put his, uh, what you call these? Buttons. He already put his buttons on them. So he already got his buttons placed on his Crocs. And both of them got the same thing. So I'm not going to show you both because they're the same thing. Alright. Then I got him some, um, just some, you know, just typical basketball shorts. Got him some Nike t-shirts. Like so. Got these, these basketball shorts, half off. Got this Nike t-shirt right here. All this stuff was half off. So that's what I got. The kiddos. Ugh. There you go. And then I picked up a few items um, for me and hubby, but I picked up myself um, this little t-shirt right here says good vibes and it's real like lightweight or whatever so I'll probably wear this with some cute little tights or whatever just around the house you know something lounge around in because where are we going we still you know we ain't going nowhere and then I got my husband this Super Mario brother t-shirt I thought it was real cute got him this is this Super Mario Luigi yeah. Yeah, so I got him this shirt right here. It was half off. And then I got him some um uh, two pair of basketball shorts. A black and gray pair. And then another black, gray, and white pair. And then I got me these cute little uh I don't know if these are, are these polo? They're not polo. But I got these little cute little uh Bermuda shorts right here. The dressier style. Got these shorts right here. All right, so this is down to the good, good stuff. So out the clothes, got the pull out the way. So I, this is the, um, I bought these pair of flip-flops right here. I do have a big foot. I wear a size 11. I purchased these from Burlington, y'all. These were priced at $12.99, but I paid $6.54. For them. Not bad at all. And of course, I love anything that's silver, and I love a good bedazzle. So I got these pair of flip-flops right here. And then um, I purchased these cute little Steve Madden earrings right here from Burlington. They were priced at $7.99. And they're like really colorful and I like it. So I can wear like a lot of colors with these earrings. Um, and I just liked because they were different. So I got them. Um, I, I, if you guys... I already told y'all earlier that my nails look like trash and it's because I think it's because of the nail polish that I've been using it's not a really good nail polish it was like a LA color LA color polish or whatever but OPI is one of the really um, a better brand of thinking of polish and because I'm still doing my own nails I bought this OPI from TJ Maxx this was only $3.99 now y'all know if, if y'all know anything about OPI OPI um, this is the color that I got Y'all don't pay attention to my fingernails. I'm about to do them right. And as soon as I get done with this haul. But this is the color uh, Humidity Tea. I think that's the right color. But this is a really pretty pale pinkish color. If y'all can see that. 
it's real pretty pretty pale pink so when i saw this was priced at 3.99 i said i had to get it because opi normally runs anywhere from like 8 to 13 dollars a bottle so oh, for nail polish so i got this thing of nail polish from tj maxx i purchased these bedroom shoes because i'm always wearing my husband bedroom bedroom slippers i recently bought them him and the boys some bedroom slippers that have the like the plush inside of it but i didn't buy myself any so i've been finding myself wearing his and he was like every time he go to look for his bedroom shoes they on my side of the bed so i was like you know what let me find me some bedroom shoes so i got these little plush bedroom shoes they are so comfortable i tried these on in the store before i even purchased them so these are really plushed. They are really, really plushed. Y'all, these were priced originally. They were priced at $7.99. So they were $6 from TJ Maxx. And they're just a typical pair of slide-in foam cushioned uh, house shoes. So I got those. Um, I also picked up these microfiber cleaning cloths. Um, can never have enough cleaning rags because some for some reason our washcloths and our rags seem like they disappear like crazy. Between those and socks, they disappear like crazy. I don't know why. I don't know if the washing machine or the dryer just eats them up. But I purchased these microfiber uh, cleaning cloths so we can, you know, I bought this distinct color. So we'll know that these are for actual cleaning. So I got a pack of these. It's the Avry Home Microfiber Cleaning Cloths. And it's a pack of 10. And I got the blue and the fuchsia color. So while I was at Burlington also, this was priced at $3.99. But of course, all of the houseware items were 25% off, okay? So I got this uh, over-the-cabinet double towel bar. Um, and I bought this to go in my kitchen because I don't... I find myself um putting my dish rag like across the sink area or it's just on the counter somewhere so i bought this to go behind the door so it actually can hang up the the dish rag and the dish towel um purchased this from burlington as well i also purchased this from burlington it is the oil and vinegar set I thought this was really, really cute. This was priced at $7.99. And it has the oil and vinegar uh, label on here already. I thought this was really, really cute. I am in the process of redoing redoing a little bit of revision on my kitchen and my living room. And my dad, I'm, I'm really just going to redo a little few things. Like refresh, refresh some of my decorations in my house. And because I have dark floors and dark cabinets, I said I'll just do like um, wider and like brighter accent pieces, like my canisters and, you know, like things like this that is, sits on top of stuff to kind of brighten up the place. So I got this oil and vinegar set right here. Um, I bought this blessed sign right here. It's white, but it's ha it has like a little distressed to it as well. Um, this was priced at $5.99, so of course that will be 25% off. And I'm going to, um, I'll, you guys will see later where I decide to put this, but I'm going to put this above my cabinets and my kitchen. So I got this blessed sign right here. Um, I also purchased this Live, Laugh, Love porcelain vase, vase right here. Um, this was priced at $12.99. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I will put this in the kitchen somewhere as well. Hand me that green thing over there. I left that out too. Um, I purchased this pretty, pretty vase. Y'all, this is so gorgeous. I love this. It's like this... Uh, towel i don't know what what's what kind of towel this is but it's like a, a hint of pearl and a hint of gold um this was priced at 24.99 thank you this is priced at 24.99 so i'm going to put this to good use and i will show you guys where i put it later in another vlog in another video so y'all stay tuned for that and then i purchased this vase also this is another gem that i found this one 
was priced at $24.99. This one is heavy. But this is also like an ivory color. This is so, so pretty. I cannot wait to do um, put this to good use. But I got this vase right here. And it's pretty heavy. It's pretty, pretty heavy. So I got this vase. Um, I also purchased these. Uh, so I got these from Home Goods. I purchased these little, I don't know what you call these. Um, but these are the little sticks or sticks or decorative sticks or whatever. I don't really know the terminology for it. You maybe you did you decorators or your decorators know exactly what they're called. Um, let me see. But yeah, I purchased these right here, and I figured these would go beautifully in one of the vases right here. Let me see. Well, maybe it'll go in here pretty might go in here just like this so this is the vase that it, and then of course it it oh this is going to be so pretty so yeah i bought this first and then i bought this second but when i saw this i had to get it so yeah i'm excited to put this stuff together this was originally priced at 12.99 y'all but i paid ten dollars for this so yeah got this from the uh TJ Maxx uh, home good combo. TJ Maxx home, you know how the well y'all saw it already. The TJ Maxx and the home good combo store, and then of course I bought uh, two of these white sticks to go in some vases that I already have. Um, these were priced at six bucks, so I just got some white sticks as well. Um, so I got two of those. And I'll show you guys later what I do, what I plan to do with those as well. Um, I also got this from Home Goods, TJ Maxx. I got this pretty, beautiful uh, accent piece. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this this color or if I'm going to spray paint it. Um, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm really not the DIY kind of queen, um, but I liked it. It was on sale. It was priced at $7, and I'm like, I can't leave it in the store. So I bought this little piece right here. And I think this was a cute little accent piece, so I purchased that as well. And then I also purchased some more curtains. These are the Willowbrook Cottage two-window panels with grommets. Um, this is a real pretty uh, linen-type situation right here this will price that $14.99 I got these from Burlington um but these are like beige I think this is the color that they are and then the grommet of course is this uh antique antiqueish color I don't know what color that is but I purchased the uh these set of curtains to go in my upstairs window um when you walk upstairs I've got a window up there, so I bought these for that window up there. So, yeah, guys, so that is what I got from Burlington. I am about to uh, um, I've already kind of like sprinkled, sprayed some of this stuff down with sanitizer already. So, um, I'm about to take this nail polish off. And I'm going to attempt to try to put it on some more nail polish. So thank you guys for shopping with me. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for hanging out with me today. If you are new to the channel, then hey. If you are new to the channel, then hey girl, hey. If you are older but a goodie, hashtag older but a goodie. You know, Miss Lovely, love you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.